Hello guys, welcome to Suede Rider. This evening we will install a radiator guard on my MT09, uh, Yamaha MT09 uh, 2022. Uh, it's a new bike, so it's rather really clean on the, uh, on the radiator. I just drove it from the dealer to my house and yeah, it has been a little bit wet on the way, so it's a little bit, um, little bit dirty. So I will use uh, an old uh, toothbrush and uh, some soap water just very very careful to clean the stripe of the dirt that i have on the radiator uh, so with that said uh, let's uh, get on it yeah as i said it's uh, it's a little bit like um a, a small stripe of dirt as you see there not a not a really deep uh, dirt that went inside it's just outside thingy, so it's only a dirt stripe, uh, which came with the tire when, when you drive. And uh, as you see, it's a little bit dirt. Uh, I, as I said, I live in, um, before in other videos, I live in some area that I have a dirt road that goes like, it's about 500 meters from the main road to my house. And that's a little bit with gravel and things. But that day when I drove the bike from the dealer, it was like a wet day uh a little bit unlucky i think <laughs> to to get it uh, the bike at that day but uh, i was happy that i got the bike so uh, with that said so it's, it's not that a big problem so what i would use is uh you know it's an old uh, toothbrush uh, a soft version not very hard because you don't need hard uh, hard you know you don't need to be harsh on this radiator it's very very uh, easy to actually damage the uh, what do you call them? Uh, the flanges, or what do you call them? Uh, yeah, the metal uh, aluminium uh, thing is there in the middle. This is the black ones, and uh, these could be actually bent very, very easy. So you need to be very, very careful, even more careful than brushing tooth. So, and I have uh, soap water and uh, water inside, so, so it's uh, it's very easy. So uh, we'll do it, and then we'll install the radiator guard. Uh, which is going to be like uh, four two four millimeters here. You have two like plastic screws here. You don't need to like screw them like very hard to get them out. Uh, you will need some kind of a tool, a plastic tool, you know, um, uh, to uh, dismantle that. And uh, yeah, it's, it's very easy, uh, fairly easy. So um, I, I will show you how to do that. So you have like two sides, you have the other side and this side. And then you have uh, some uh, nuts here, you can take them off and then you put the radiator guard. The radiator guard is very easy to put. So it is actually uh, this one. So you have like the, the, the nuts that you take them from there. You put this one there and you put it and then uh, you just screw it on and then tight it. So, and then you put back the plastic covers and that's it so the only thing that you need to, to be careful on is that not damaging the radiator so be very careful no rush have uh, fun installing that and uh, try to not install it so that you have uh, a very small gap between the radiator and the, the guard because if you have a vibrations between the the guard and the radiator with time it's gonna be like yeah it's gonna make something wrong there so Try to be careful about that. If there is no gap, then you should uh, have some kind of uh, rubber distances between the, 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 gu the, the guard and the radiator. If you don't have it, try to find something to put it there. Uh, and it should be very, very fastened, so it's not like moving around. Uh, mine has not because it's a kind of a very robust uh, metal, so it's not going to move around. But if you have a kind of a thinner metal, that will, that will be vibrating uh, uh, with the time. So be careful of that. So what I did now is actually sprayed some uh, soapy water on the stripe, uh, the dirt stripe. Uh, we can complete a little bit more. So uh, don't go crazy there. It's just, you need just a little bit. So leave it for some seconds to uh, soak a little bit. So, and then, um, Put a little bit on the brush so you have you have it softer not like very very dry um yeah i mean i mean you don't go crazy there just be very careful um and you need to go like as i do now 
very careful on these ones. Um, I'm a little bit like very, very careful with these so they don't bend. And uh, they are not like very, very uh, light. Oh, sorry, I'm having to keep an eye on the camera here. So very, very careful. Not so much and no, no pressure at all. Just like moving it up and down a little bit or downwards. You don't need to, you can do that also, I think just to get rid of the dirt so it doesn't like get uh, stuck between the guard and the uh, radiator. I am sure that it will be very dirty with time uh, because of the holes of the radiator guard. But when I see dirt and I can clean it, I will do it. So I know that I've done my, my part here. Um, who knows, maybe you don't get any dirt. <laughs> I don't think so because we have like the holes that's actually for getting air inside. So it's gonna be soaked with dirt anyhow. But now I want to see it a little bit more like, more or less like new. That's why I'm doing that. <laughs> so it's a little bit like pedam thing. So now no, the, the radiator is uh, fairly clean. So it's enough for me here. Uh, what, what I'm gonna do is actually remove these uh, covers I already loosened them a little bit, uh, but to show you guys is actually there are some plastic uh, pins here. Uh, they are fairly easy to remove, but be careful. It's like a uh, cross screw here. Uh, you just need to uh, use the screwdriver, very light, uh, unscrew this one. Uh, let's say you unscrew it normally, but don't push a lot because it's it's going to destroy the the threads on it, it's a plastic one. So when it goes out like this, you just fairly take it out, uh, very easy. It has like, uh, what do you call it, a tight uh, thread. So it takes time to take it out. And when you take it out, either when you push it, it goes like, like this uh, alone. So you need either use your nails. It's very, very easy to take this out, uh, the, the rest of the plug. So you just take it out like this and then you put the, together with the, with the screw later. Uh, then when you put it back, it just pinch this one a little bit back so it's going back to the original uh, shape so it can actually get plugged in again. So the same thing with this one. Uh, it's a little bit tight place. For, for my fingers and my, my hand, it's it's a little bit bigger hand. So this one went out like the hole. So so it, it depends on, on your luck, how it's going. Um, so the next thing is actually you remove this one and this one. So be careful that the, the, the cover, as you see, is going to fall. So there's nothing like hanging with this cover. Oopsie. So I will be careful now to hold it with one hand. I don't want to have like a dent or something on the cover. So that's why this is what, yeah, what you see like directly. So this is the cover. It's very easy to, to have it uh, out. While you are here, you have, you know, the, the oxygen sensor is a uh, cable is going like the same uh, route here. And you have this plug here or the, the, the connection uh, for it here. And I don't know what's that. It's some, some kind of connection to here. Some people, they actually reported that after washing the, the bike, they're getting like engine, yellow engine uh, warning uh, LED or a lamp is uh, activated. And that's because you're getting water on this one. So take it out, use tape. Put tape on everywhere that you think that water is going inside. Uh, so tight you can because if it's open somewhere and you get water and you tighten it that way and it's not really fairly tight so the water will be stuck inside and then you will make like the problem worse because as it is now you can actually vaporize. Uh, the water can be, be vaporized. Uh, vaporized. Ah, my English is not that 100 now. So the, 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 the water or the, the um, moisture will be vaporized if it's open like this, but it will make, you, uh, make a problem for a while. 
until it's it get uh, vanished but but if you tighten it and it's not enough then you get water inside it, it will take a longer time to to vaporize so be careful either you do it right or you leave it as it is so i'm gonna do it and i'm gonna do it very good so i will not leave any kind of uh, leak or anything that goes inside because it's very important to have like uh, i don't want to have like a lamp on when i'm washing the bike so that happens when you use the um, pressurized uh, wash washing uh, washing machine and um, I will not do that I will just uh, use normal water pressure so that's enough for me for the bike okay so uh, yeah well the next uh, next thing is actually to remove the, uh, these bolts and uh, try to uh, take this plastic uh, cover or holder uh, on a side and then you put the the same thing from the other side and then you put the, the, the cover from inside here careful with the radiator when you put it back then it's going to be behind this uh, so it's going to be like bolted on the radiator from this side so the the cover going to be like the the, the protection is going to be like behind here you put back the bolt and normally you'll, you will not see it from here so it's going to be like behind there
Uh, so guys, uh, that's the finished product of uh, the radiator protector, uh, which is, seems and looks very good, uh, very robust, uh, fairly easy to install. Remember, two bolts here, four millimeter Allen key, uh, plastic pins, uh, which please do not pressure them because they can go crazy broken. Um, they are like a type of a pin and uh, what do you call it? It's, it's like a, a cover or something that goes inside and the pin makes it a little bit like a pressure out. It's the same thing that you, the things that you put, the plugs that you put uh, on the on the wall to, to install any um, shelf or anything. Uh, same 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 wise like this uh, this side is uh, same thing here. Two uh, two bolts, uh, two yeah two Allen key bolts, uh, four millimeter. Same thing here. You have uh, this cable that's actually I think it's the oil pressure cable it goes like you have um, a plug here so you can take it out so it's gonna be like easier to get to get it back uh, to get this uh, the, the the cover holder plastic that's actually in the behind of this you can actually bend it a little bit out uh, and um, uh, the pipe here you can actually take it out and work with it but you don't need that but uh, be careful that everything is in place afterwards here is from the other side how it looks like uh, I'm very proud of it. It's very beautiful uh, more protection for my bike and now uh, I'm not afraid of uh, stones or gravel that will be like going directly with that uh, speed from the from the tires directly on the radiator so okay if it's dirt it will be dirt there but let's say it's not like damaging uh, as you see, so many motorbikes they, they are actually like actually very damaged the the radiators when they're riding and and that's normal. But with that, so it's going to be a little bit more easier to to ride and have it um, lasting a little bit longer time. Hopefully, uh, yeah. Well, that's it for this evening and this uh, installation. I hope you like the video. Uh, subscribe, like, comment, uh, happy to help you uh, with things. If you have tips, I, I would uh, gladly take uh, tips from you guys. Um, and that's it for this evening. Uh, thank you very much. Have a nice uh, time and weekend and see you the next time. Bye bye.